Show people. Today we are going to cover naming crown ethers, so let's get right to it. Let's go ahead and name some crown ethers. So the basic way of naming crown ethers is number of members, crown, number of oxygens, ether. So let's go ahead and figure that out for these three examples. So here we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve members in this ring, four of which are oxygen. So this would be four, uh, twelve crown for ether. I don't want you guys to waste your time counting every single member every single time. So we're just going to count the number of oxygens, which is four, multiply by three, and we get twelve. So, a really easy way to simplify this is the number of oxygens times 3 will give you the number of members. Let's try this out on the next one. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 oxygens. 7 times 3 equals 21. If you go through and count, you will see that this is, in fact, correct. For the last one, we have one, two, three, four, five, six numbers, or six oxygens, rather. Six times three, 18. So we have 18 crown six ether. The last thing I want to note is that sometimes Dr. West will just say blank crown blank. So if he leaves out the ether at the end, that's completely okay. This is just another way to name ethers. And that's it. This is a really simple, straightforward concept. I'm highlighting the basics that you need to know. And yeah, that's crown ethers for you. Nope, I hated that. We're going to start over. Bear hey. It is very late, and my brain's going to devolve as we keep going. A link to it. Uh, actually, I won't. It's fine. Anyways, sorry about that. Brain fart. So. Hello, all our order people. Order? You know what? Sorry. Let's say anything besides. No. And scene. Okay. This is Orgo with Rosemary, and today we are going to cover uh. splitting and multiplicity. I hate WebEx. Anyway, we'll try that one more time. Bibbidi, bobbidi, boo. So that's the answer. Here's an inspirational bear. 